Good evening, everyone. How you doing? This is KD, and this is BALX, mm -hmm. the Black Lifestyle Experience. And we are here to make the Black Lifestyle a little bit better. All right. We got my co-host, Ms. Harley and Applesauce tonight. How you doing, ladies? How you doing? Hi, I'm okay. What's going Pretty on? What's going Thank on? you for having us All right. again and again and again. <laughs> All right, so I hope everybody can hear us well. Um, sorry, Topanga couldn't make it tonight. Um, she's a little under the weather, so we're going to go ahead and proceed without her. And, uh, you know, we're just getting this all together. And uh, we got a pretty good topic tonight, and we're going to set it up well. Um, tonight's topic is, <clears throat> are you in the lifestyle or are you just being a hoe? All right, so we'll, 
little disclaimer to all the hoes out there. Um, this is we're not throwing shade or anything like that. So if you're a hoe, you're a hoe. All right, we're not passing any judgment. It's your time to shine, boo. That's it. So, <laughs> um, but we we want to discuss the you know the differences and some of the things we've been seeing lately in the lifestyle. And uh, you know, I think we just need to call it is what it is. Okay, so uh, I think that'll help out a lot of people. <laughs> So, um, I don't know, before we get into it, how's everybody doing? How y'all doing? Everybody good? Doing actually fantastic. I had a wonderful nap and I woke up singing and <laughs> it's just, <sighs> listen, it, it don't get no better than that. Mm, I know that's right. I, know that's I think right. today is the most I've heard you sing consistently. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, so it's, the the pregame wasn't as off the chain as it normally is, but you know, pregame it, was lit. It, it, it was still lit. <laughs> Naps and water. Naps right. and water. So everybody get their drinks out there. Uh, it's gonna be a good show tonight. Um, please share this feed. Please share it in your groups. Please share it in your group chats. Please share it on your page, so you know we can uh, get the numbers up. Got a few mm-hmm. people watching right now. Um, but like I say, it's gonna be a good show. We, we, we got a lot to talk about. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cover a lot, but um, before we get into it, how's everybody's weekend? Let's let's do a weekend recap. We haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and transition over to the page. Listen, my my weekend was lit. Uh oh, here we go. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> you want to talk about? I ain't have to lift a finger for nothing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a really good weekend. It was really nice. <laughs> See, we we got some pictures up. So, um, so what's up with them shoes? You, oh, you yeah. sent me a picture of them <laughs> shoes. I don't know what size they are, but I feel like they are my size. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, the people was like, or oh, oh, those, uh, the Taz originals, because my good, my good, good friend, Rashad Horton, Taz Horton, uh, he has these shoes that he's selling. Yeah. And somebody went on and was like, I know this is not Taz Originals. No, those are not Taz Originals. Mm. I don't know where the church lady shoes came from, mm. but mine was definitely not no church lady shoes. Mm. Mm. Um, Cinderella. <laughs> hey, Cinderella, <Listen>. Cinderella. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's good enough to know that song. <laughs> yes, and I ain't had to ride no punk in and get them neither. <laughs> Oh, shoes. Oh, those shoes is tight, though. What's up with that dress, though? Looks For my very, shoe horn lo- looks fetish. Looks very glittery. Yes. It was a doing? glitter bottom everywhere I went. You could see my unicorn trail mm. everywhere. So what, it was great. So, so what was the event? What was, what was you at? What was you doing? It was a, a swanky holiday party. Oh. Yes. It was very nice. Something I felt new. like a princess. Something new stepped outside your box. Oh no, that ain't new. Oh yeah, Hold it's up. been a while. <laughs> it's just definitely been a while since I've gone to like a really nice party like that. I think my last party like that. Ooh, I went to like an artist, like for music artist earlier this year. Well, last year mm-hmm. actually. So yeah, probably about a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's about a year. That's not too bad. I've been saying, uh, you know, it's, we, should, we need more events that we can get dressed at. Like, really get dressed. You know, uh, yeah, you don't really see that anymore. I can agree with that. I, I think, but I think mm-hmm. it's it shouldn't be a theme. I think it's, you know, like, like a stunting party. Like, you want to stunt, like, you throw know, that shit on. Like, yeah. time. how you ever, however way you like to dress, you feel like that's stunting, that's, that's what you come as. But don't, mm-hmm. don't be wearing no dingy ass white t shirt. All right. No. That ain't stunning. No shoes. I mean, no sneakers and no boots. Mm -hmm. No No. shoes, shoes, sneakers, whatever. Right. Or shoe boots. Yeah, no, none of them. Yeah, like actual shoes. Yes. Shoes, jackets with a little handkerchief. And then you pull out the inside. Right. It got to coordinate. You see? Yeah. I'm trying to see some cuffs. It smell good. Some cuffs and. Some ties, you know, all the fancy ties. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm a tie mm-hmm. anyway, but something like that, you know. Or even just some nice shirts, you know, mm-hmm. some some real nice shirts, some real nice dresses, something yeah. like that. Some Never against stuff. a tie. Never against a good tie. Yeah. Though. 
Yeah. Harley, have you ever tied someone up with their own tie? Yes. Um, yes. Mm. I'm a fan of um, undressing my victims. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. My, I have an ex-boyfriend who works for uh, a Fortune 500 company. And so mm. it's, he suit and tie every day. So, you know, when I had, you know, I was visiting and he used to get off from work and yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. It used to be a wrap. Mm-hmm. Every day you come here. Mm. Mm -hmm. You gonna moan when I touch you. Oh, here we go. Uh, is, are we still on last week's show? Where are we at? Are we on last oh, week's show? Oh, oh. We're not oh, on last week's show at all. This is part of our weekend recap. Hey, okay, hey, my hey, bad, man. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, all right, so listen. Okay, it's okay to wear a tie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. Yes. I, it's in the picture. I'm wearing a tie. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So check it out. Like you know, my weekend. You know, I'm always hanging out at the cigar bar, but uh, up at Scotch Plains, high end cigars. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Them fools, boy. The Dallas Cowboy fans, boy. They represent it hard up there, and um, <laughs> they brought ribs. I thought it was a barbecue. They brought ribs. They brought macaroni salad. They, I mean, they did it up. Cupcakes of all sorts. Plenty of alcohol. Plenty of smoke, and all that. Them fools was was turning up. They was ready for the game, and then so the whoever was controlling the music, they, <laughs> they was bringing up some oldies. So one of them was uh, um, the Jackson Five. Is this the end? Uh uh, you know, that's new edition. That's new edition. That's oh, new shit, edition. My bad. My, damn, I'm fucking up. I was my bad. Fucking up. My bad. <laughs> so new editions, <laughs> is this the end? I mean, and so the whole place was singing, you know, is this the end? Mama told me one day oh, it was going to happen. How did I think that was the Jackson 5? Damn, it's sort of sound I don't like know. Is. But anyway. It's new edition. Listen. Like that set the tone before the game even started. And, and check it out. If you want a clip of it, just go to my page. I, I posted it on my page. It, 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 it's 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 funny as hell. But um, but yeah, no, it was a good time out there. Like it was plenty of liquor, great company, and uh, some good friends, and we was chilling. Like, you know, so, did you get any cupcakes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, no cupcakes. Yeah, I got one. I got one cupcake. One cupcake. Yeah, that was it. It was good though. It was good. I'm sure it was. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get on to the show. <laughs> Did y'all tell us inside jokes? I'm no. Can't tell. No. No inside jokes cupcake, here. But Not today. All right. I had so. more questions about the cupcake, but okay. Yeah. So. We, <laughs> I didn't have any cupcakes. We here to talk about. <laughs> we here to talk about. Because I got applesauce. Are, are you in the lifestyle or just being a hoe? All right. So, <laughs> so one thing I've been noticing. All right, and and y'all got the notes. One mm -hmm. thing I've been noticing is the lifestyle to me. All right, has become more independent. There's less real couples. Okay, real couples. There's lapses in decorum, big time. There's no etiquette, all right? Um, single and solo-mindedness, okay? We can get into that. And the people, here, they're just here for the sex. So it just kind of threw me out there, you know? I was just kind of like, damn, are, are, are you in the lifestyle? You just being a hoe. Like, because, you know, when you, you think about the classic hoe, you know, you're like, well, damn, they just out here fucking anything, you know, and, and don't really care. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, well, is is it a lifestyle hose or is it a lifestyle? So I'm just trying to figure out what's up. So let's start this off by answering the question, what is the lifestyle? Now somebody answer that for me. So what is the lifestyle? The old lifestyle or the new lifestyle? Because this is why we're here. Right. I think the lifestyle is a place, listen, when I was at a time in my life, I needed some friends. And I needed some sex. Mm -hmm. And I was introduced to the lifestyle and was like, oh, okay. This is not so bad. Mm -hmm. So it's, for me, it's a, it's a place. And then I found the networking and mm 
mm-hmm. you know, all of that other good stuff. And that that's like really where my niche is, is like is with the networking. And then mm-hmm. I got into BDSM, which is another part of the lifestyle, mm-hmm. which Harley can elaborate so can even more so on. And can I pause there. Is it weird that I don't encom- like I don't associate BDSM with someone who who uh, identifies as a person in the lifestyle like like when someone says i'm in the lifestyle i never associate bdsm with it and i have to that's his own special thing Mm -hmm. yeah like is that weird because like it's funny most people in bdsm say that but folks in the lifestyle, they incorporate BDSM. Into because, the they, because they like, oh, it's one big umbrella. It's an umbrella term that yeah. nobody it's, over here was using. And it's not. a whole lot of people over there got into it. It became a thing. I mean, I don't know. No, sh- no shade, no judgment. How you do your thing is how you do your thing. Let me just disclaimer this right here. Y'all know I'm me, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> she will bite you. Yeah, go ahead and be you. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I say that because I say that to say it because um, I don't I, I, I don't I just don't put it all together like that you know yes whatever anybody however you live your life is alternative it's an alternative you know it's it's what you buy into it's your thing it's not for nobody else to pass judgment on and we hear because we shouldn't be judgmental we shouldn't be Mm-hmm. But you find more people in a lifestyle who will more so get into lifestyle. being judgmental and mm-hmm. they will be more kink shaming and eh, that's weird and uh why is that dude on a leash? Why is he on mm-hmm. the floor? Mm-hmm. Why mm-hmm. is he got that butt plug? And don't worry about that man right there. Mm-hmm. He's he's doing his thing, what he gotta do. Why don't you worry about what you got to do or what you're trying to get into? Mm-hmm. So I find a lot more judgment in the area of the lifestyle. So it's like, you know, I've been kind of not partying. As much, I rather do my private thing, and I just keep it funky like that because it'd it be those same lifestyle people. You go and you turning up, and they talking shit about you. So, mm mm, my energy, my energy don't need that. So, no, and I don't need a party for sex. So, mm-hmm. or friends, or mm-hmm. none of that. Mm-hmm. So, but I also, so uh, my also my weirdness. Uh, again, I'm a disclaimer. This a me thing. Um, I don't consider all parties that I've attended lifestyle parties either. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so, so that brings up an interesting thing. So, you know, are you in the lifestyle or are you just being a hoe? So, um, I've noticed and I've seen some vanilla parties turn into lifestyle parties and lifestyle parties inviting vanilla people you know so you know why are these why are the genres being mixed you know are we just so to me it's like you know are people really just looking to have sex you know i I think it's starting to just turn into that we're just going to say whoever's looking for sex just come on in you know, and and that kind of leads. Yeah, because to... these people, yeah, you pay your admission, you might be able to get into something. So come I mean, on, you pay your nah, admission, that... your admission, and you're in. But just mm-hmm. because you're in doesn't mean something's happening. You know, like mm-hmm. you're there, you pay for you pay for that spot to enter the door. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's that's not to enter no coochie or enter no booty or whatever you into. Right. right no. Right. That doesn't mean that. That's why when I go to these parties, I spend like the majority of the time talking. You know, vetting people as I go because no, you're not going to be sitting here trying to trauma bond on my body. Right, right. I'm right. not the frat mattress. No, 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 no. No, like I'll do my whole shit outside, mm. outside the lifestyle, mm. completely just, separate, apart from that. Mm. I want to acknowledge that uh, Mercedes asked two questions mm-hmm. and um, a little bit further down, I'll answer. Okay. A little bit further down, I answer. We, I'm, a, um, because we get off topic a lot. So I will. I will. That's what, that's okay. right. Yeah, and then Topanga jumped in. These men and women, aka cheaters, be out here doing ball head hoe shit. Ooh, can I tell you how many men and women I've met that have partners that are unaware of their behaviors and or. Uh, associations within LS stuff. Yeah, how many? 
living their best life at enough gatherings. You said enough. Enough. <laughs> that's how many enough. N U F F. Enough. Like it's, like it's, it's so many. You know how y'all put. You know how you, you they teach you to do the niches. You know, like you you niche a couple hundred times. Mm 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 mm. So so does that mean that they're in the lifestyle or are they just looking for sex? I mean, I what feel is, like that's all head and hoes. Just shit being hoes. <laughs> that's whole they can try to fuck anything that any, anything that they mm-hmm. can get their little stuff wet off of. Right. They they gon' they're gonna take it. No, but this no in the lifestyle there should be more decorum, more class, some level of discretion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It 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 should be more like a secret society. But these people they just trying to you know bring in anybody because everybody's dollars green. You know the newbies dollars is green too. But if you're not vetting them, not even a little bit. Mm-hmm. If you're not really like indoctrinating them or or getting them accustomed to the lifestyle culture. You can't just be walk. You can't just walk up to somebody and just grab them, you know, and say, "Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I want to have sex with you. I want to play with you. All they know is play. I want to play with you." Mm. Okay, how long you been in lifestyle? They're not even used to being asked these questions, mm-hmm. and then they want to get frustrated and then just want to jump to the sex. Nah, right, right, right. No, nah, they want whole shit. Right. So if they want whole shit, then they have to conduct themselves. In a little kind of different manner, and actually get the hoes mm-hmm. who's with the whole shit. Right. Okay. So now, what, what would you rather have? Would you rather have the lifestyle as it used to be, or the whole shit? So I'm, I'm curious, like, like what people would say about that. Like, what, what's you know, what we all know. Well, we're working on what the difference is, but it seems like now the whole shit's becoming more popular. You know, what would you rather have? The, well, the decorum, the etiquette. You know, of the lifestyle as it as it was, or you want the whole shit. So I think I don't know if I can. I don't know if my opinion is like everyone else's. I think that um, you said vetting, right? You said people should vet people. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. people should vet events. I think that's where you drop the ball. You know, like yes, it's the more popular party. A lot of people are talking that's about it. It's it's um, it has A B C D. It's buying you. You're buying into the facade of the experience that you're going to have, right? It's mm-hmm. promoting, it's, it's everywhere. You know, people flying in, people are validating it that you look up to or maybe associate with the lifestyle mm-hmm. or a lifestyle, you know, and validation is everything when it comes from people who have heavy followers now. Mm-hmm. Media is a thing. Um, but don't get it twisted it's still events and parties and gatherings going on with old school values. It's just, are you willing to put in the effort to attend those events? Mm -hmm. Because they might not be accepting everybody's money. Everybody can't sit with them. You might not be able to sit with them at first, you know? So are you willing to even put the effort in to be able to attend something Mm -hmm. that requires you to make some effort to want to attend? reach out on your own and you know or get vetted however that whatever that looks like or spend a little bit of money because it's at a it's it's somewhere that's worth the money you're spending you know yeah no a lot of people nowadays they rather the whole shit because they can cut out all of that it's the easy and then all the same all the same stuff that they could do at a lifestyle party Mm -hmm. they're gonna pick off whoever's the best one that they want Mm -hmm. and then do the whole shit outside because usually at parties they say you know no raw sex and things like that but nah it's it's even worse when they try to do the whole shit and then want to come into the party with that same kind of mentality no somebody gonna kick you in your chest yeah i think that i think that identifying with the lifestyles was causing people to draw the attention for people to attend when in actuality it's not i think that some of these event promoters and producers need to be held accountable for um, bait and switching. Mm. Mm. Okay, so how are you going to hold Expound on that, boo Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, people who are veterans, when you get into the verbiage and the, ling- and the lingo of, you know, like, if, if you know, you know, you know, you had these conversations with certain people, and, and I've had... Mm. I've had conversations with people. I'm that person. I'm that person. I'm the person that's trying to figure out who's running everything because 
I'm good for a collab for something. Or maybe I, I want to give some feedback. I'm not trying to give feedback to your cronies. I'd rather give the feedback to you. You know, so I might reach out. I'm that person. And yeah, if I said, that definitely will set you apart from one of those regular people yeah. who's like, you know what I'm saying? Not just, you know, a whole kind of person. I'm going to do my research and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to figure it out. But I, you know, if I can't even have a conversation with you about your event, about what the the goal and what you were trying to achieve or what is this? Because mm -hmm. I'm in a space like what the fuck is going on around me? Then mm -hmm. it's not impressive. I'll never go back. It's a few people's things that I have not either A, one, been to or two, not went back to. Mm. And I am not the, you know what? My girlfriend said I have to stop saying I'm not a swinger. So I am not predominant. Yes. <laughs> at, at um, maybe just recently in the last year or two, but predominantly it's not where I'm active. Um, and so it's not impressive if I can't have a conversation with the person that's producing it and, it, and they be able to have a knowledgeable conversation with me. Right. Um, my money there exactly spend your money there to be with these people and the other people they don't know shit about shit no I a party that's not attractive to me either i went to a party where it was like a mansion party you know a couple of me and my friends were in the room um half ass dressed half ass dressed you know we probably was just watching an orgy or something we in the room chilling shooting the shit talking to a guy two three guys come in beating their dicks like who that what? Mm. Um, yeah, see that that's the whole shit. Sir, what's your name? Sir? <laughs> you your mom gave you a name? Like you found just that penis. Right? Mm. What do the people in the streets call you at least? <laughs> Who next? Mm -hmm. Big John. Mm. So I you know, I don't know. Okay. I don't I can't say that I know the difference. I you know, I I can say that ma majority of the parties that are going on right now give me the feels of fuck parties. It doesn't give me the feel of anything else. Um, I'm newer into swing. And so I am that newbie that's like, what happened to the meet and greets that was going on pre-COVID? What, what happened to me being put in the space to want to wanna fuck somebody? To want to go to the hotel and take my clothes off? Like... Mm -hmm. To want to walk up to you and be like, "What's going on? You free? I'm trying to play." Like, or right. by somebody approaching me. Right. That space mm -hmm. don't exist. <laughs> right, right, right. So, I solicited send me dick pics, thinking it's gonna work. Like, well, you know what? I yeah. feel like it's been working though. I mean, not necessarily with you, but I mean, it's it seems like that kind of stuff's been working. The inboxing, so like the inboxing. The um the setting up lists before the parties, you know, um, setting up. Oh, I uh, definitely have my list before the party. Yeah, right, right, right. But I mean, to me, I, I don't know. Is is that like a new rule to do? Is that really a part of the lifestyle? You know what I'm saying? I, just, I mean, I guess it's how you flow. Like, I'm not the type to go to the party and sit there and wait for somebody to be attracted to me. I that that's not me. If I know who all is there. And if I know any of my favorites is there, I okay, I know favorites is there. So if, if all else fails, okay. I know I can get, I can actually get, you know, I can actually come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So but how long you waiting though? For real? What you mean? You, you go to a party, you don't have a list. How long you waiting? How long? How long you sitting there waiting? I mean, do, waiting you know, for what? Wait for somebody to approach you. I don't. I talk no, to people. I'm saying, how long would you have to wait? I mean, oh, how long would I have to wait yeah. for someone to talk to me to approach me? Right. Minutes from walking in the door, probably as soon as I walk in the door. Okay. So is that not all right for you, though? I mean, I'm just asking. No, because it's, these people is new. I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know where they've been. I don't know where they've been sticking their little dick at. <laughs> and then they're going to want me to suck it raw at the party, and I don't know what they've been doing, but they don't want to eat no coochie at the party. But I'm going to suck their raw penis at the party. Uh oh. Don't get her fired up. Please. Please. You saw my lip go up, right? You sure did. Eye twitching and everything. Calm Let down, me... boo. Calm down, baby. Calm down. Calm Let down. me fix this one and fix this one right here because. <laughs> no. No, no. But for real, but it'd be minutes. And, um,. No, I, I have given guys a shot, 
you know, I'll be like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to talk to you in a little bit. You know, let me schmooze. I have to, you know, I got to work the room and see who's all there and mm -hmm. everything. I have to feel the vibe first before I'm like, okay, yeah, you, let's go. Right. You know, because yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, all right, so one party that was really good, um, New Year's Eve party, mm -hmm. uh, it was Diamond Keys party. We should go, um, Harley. We should go. You, I think you would like a Diamond Key party. Um, so I'm there, met a few people, and... I didn't really get the feeling to play until the very, 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 very end. When they say, okay, no, y'all y'all either gotta, you know, go or play or something. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay, they the party needs people a piece out? of me. Is that what they was doing? Absolutely. They, they were suggesting people leave if they weren't gonna play. Yeah. Oh, if you, you just standing around if it's a certain yeah. hour in the morning. Yeah. And ain't nobody doing nothing, no. get out or play. Mm. So yeah, the, the party got a little piece of me. It did, it did. I, I put my gloves on. I, I I made some shit work. It was nice, mm. but you know, I made connections from that party. Mm. So yeah, we'll either see each other at another party somewhere, or, you know, or never. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm alright with that. Mm -hmm. Like I don't need to go to the party and you know be fucking the whole place. We got some comments. Um, I don't really know what. Um, it's Joe Halt. Halt. So, okay. Joe so, Hey, right, Joe. You see, I'm not eating. Here. What you going to want your so, dick up? Get the fuck out of here. First, first it was. Joe It was a lot of facts, and I don't know what they was agreeing with, but um, I'm I'm assuming you were, you were saying that they stopped a long time ago, like the meet and greets and stuff. I'm assuming. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, they they were like they don't play at parties, <laughs> they not talking to you, <laughs> and they not eating. And I'm not eating. So I mean, so what are the back in the day? What was the boundaries? Like <laughs> what was the boundaries? I hear a lot of couples say they ain't with the kissing. Like you ain't about to right. be kissing. Right. No you're kiss not about to be kissing. You're not about to be kissing my wife, but the wife is down there goggling, and he's down there on the other one. You know, going to town, eating her little roast beef. Oh, but but y'all can't kiss. Oh, stop it. <laughs> so, yeah, what happened to the real couples? You know, like real couples. So you, all right, so we going back, back. So you, we, we, you like, what happened to the parties with the couples with the actual full swaps and the yeah. soft swaps and the, you know. Yeah, and the shit actually happened. Not, we'll, we'll take your number. Like, what, I mean, what, well, damn. Right, what, what? The generation we in now. I mean, with the generation we in now, you know, monogamy is not is not the majority. Monogamy mm -hmm. is not the majority. Mm -hmm. The majority is not buying into monogamous relationships. Mm -hmm. The couples are very loose. It could be the boyfriend and the wife. It could be the husband and the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It could be the husband, the wife, and the girlfriend and or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It could be my nigga, because that's my nigga, but my husband over here. Mm -hmm. it, it, the, the relationship status within alternative lifestyles right now are not the norm, are not what society sees as a monogamous relationship. Let mm -hmm. me let me be real politically correct, I guess. Uh, it's not, that's not the majority out here any longer. Mm -hmm. You know, people are free to live their life and, and, and engage in relationships how they see fit. Mm -hmm. And what makes them happy, mm -hmm. and so that when you when you release that structure, you don't have that any longer. Right. You don't have the husband and the wife, and the husband and the wife, or the fiance, and the, you don't have that relationship structure any any longer. Mm -hmm. And so you need that relationship structure to have those types of and those level of engagements. But mm -hmm. the relationship structure isn't isn't that, and that's I mean. The majority I run into is not that. The majority of people I meet and I talk to, they in open relationships. They have more than one partner. They have long distance partners. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all know I was very open about me being open and non-monogamous until I fell into a monogamous relationship. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, so the relationship structure has changed. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get that. So, so, I guess, so would you say couples are more on some whole shit right now than lifestyle shit? Because, I mean, like, I mean, I, I've seen, like, couples, like, 
just try to separate another couple just so they can get to get the to a party and they operate like they single. Yeah. Or Yeah, and I, and I've seen people who uh in couples actually trying to fight to not be a damn couple. They rather do the whole shit mm. than have to deal with the couple thing because then now they have to worry about what their spouse is doing and what they're doing mm-hmm. because as soon as they go ab- above and beyond, yeah, they're going to open up the karma where their spouse to be doing the same thing. So right. that's why you find a lot of these couples, they're out doing their own thing. And I saw one comment that said, um, uh, the lady, uh, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. <laughs> so Gil said ethical non-monogamy. A lot of people buying the ethical non-monogamy right now. You know they well, have yeah, ethical. They That's have a keyword. A partner or two or whatever. They have partners. Um, they may be nesting partners that they live with. They may not be. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone may be equal and may be hier- hierarchical. Mm-hmm. Ah. That's it. <laughs> you did it. Hierarchical. <laughs> you did it. Like it might be a hierarchy. It might be a primary <laughs> partner. It might be an alpha, a beta. You know, mm-hmm. they, mm-hmm. whatever makes you happy. And I feel like that's society's norm right now. If it makes me happy, is what I buy into. Is what I do. And if you don't buy into what makes me happy, if if the structure doesn't work for you, you know, cool. We can be friends, but whatever. I know mm-hmm. people who are relationship anarchists, and they identify as that. And it is what it is. Did you say you relationship know. anarchist? Yeah, relationship anarchist. Please, what, the, what is that? A relationship anarchist is a person who has like loose relationships. Like it, they, they may engage in sexual or sexual relationships with their friends. They may have platonic friendships. Mm-hmm. They may have platonic relationships. They mm-hmm. may, you know, like they is real open i mean if they claim you as a partner if you are at the level of a partner Mm -hmm. whatever that relationship agreement is it is Mm -hmm. and you know it's it's a form of ethical non-monogamy um it's a it's i i like it believe it and i like it Mm -hmm. because and i probably was a relationship anarchist because i have friends people who i've engaged with sexually um we were never in a formal relationship I never lied to another person about me having other partners, but like they still my friends now. Like mm-hmm. when we not gonna fuck, I got a man. It is what it is, but like we still have a friendship. Mm-hmm. Uh, we still can do business together. Mm-hmm. We can still we can still play, have scenes or sessions involving BDSM and things like that together. Nothing sexual is included, and they're fine with that. That's the boundary, mm-hmm. you know. So. Um, Again, there is no, there's no real structure to what the relationships look like right now, and so that no. may why things have changed. Right, I mean because like I'm hearing, it, it seems like when you approach somebody and you you talking about some type of relationship or whatever, they 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 throw something at you. You be like, what? Like who does that? And it's it's almost sounds completely made up, you know. Um, yeah, but it's not, you know. And look, 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 Joseph. Look, look, Joe. Just, he, just, he just had an epiphany. Damn, I guess that's me. You see? Listen, BLS. People like this where they come here right? proving the black lives one show at a time. That's it. Use this show to determine if you're a hoe. <laughs> Use the whole you might be a hoe. Plain and simple. You just might be a hoe. It's okay, though. We're not judging say- anybody's journey today. <laughs> <laughs> I do miss those. I mean, I miss those days. I was, I like that was the first time I kind of even was brought to a swing party back when couples were like that. That was the big reason why I stress I'm not a unicorn. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm not a unicorn, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't mind a small group of people of small group of couples whatever the couples however they identify themselves as couples Mm -hmm. they got together every now and then and shot the shit and did whatever you know but could do other things outside of fucking like like a tribe yeah like can we go to the gun range like (laughs) Mm -hmm. can we go to can we go (laughs) shoot some shit like what's up Mm -hmm. no can we go is a snack hole shut up Joe (laughs) <laughs> you know what? Shout out to Josel Holt. Like this nigga, he, he been my boy for, since uh, the summertime, 
And it, cool brother, we've been hanging out. <laughs> he he jumping on right now, just act, acting a fool. But, but he um, is though. But, but he, he is, is. He ain't, he's lying. A legit he ain't fool. lying though. Yeah, he 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 legit fool. Yeah, yeah, ho. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. You gonna come up with the chicken yeah, wing hoe next? Why? <laughs> I'm I'm a hundred percent respecting who out. However, anyone identifies, you know, like I'm gonna ask you. Like, this one thing I am gonna do is ask. I got questions. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I have questions. It is what it is. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I be wanting to know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do need it at the range, and J- Joselle will be the one. He, yeah, he will be a good one to uh, to go to the range with. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. get a group of people that's with with the shits and the guns. Hey, listen. Um, that's that same one on there talking about KD is Snacko. <laughs> <laughs> that's your new name, Snack. Oh, quit it. <laughs> I shall not. I shall. <laughs> No, but you know, I do think it is a space for the fuck parties. Don't get me wrong. Listen, I'm not against them. I'm with those shits. Every now and then, you gotta, you know, live your life. Um, what did I used to say? I swear, I used to, I used to tell people like, I go to parties for my fuckery, like. Right, but I mean, that's I mean, to me, that's what they are, and people are complaining about them. I, I guess, I guess that's really the issue. Like, people are saying oh, all these things are fuck parties or whatever, but. I, you know, you must like, like it because you still got one. Like you, like don't hop in my inbox after the party. Like fuckery time over. Like I don't want to take you from the party. Yeah. <laughs> I, to me, I think that's one of the biggest things that even changed the lifestyle is your ability to contact people on the low. You know, saying yeah. you you don't you don't have to go to parties anymore just to meet people. You can you can go to somebody's Facebook page and say, "Ooh, I like her," and then. Next thing you know, you're in her inbox. You can call her. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't do that before. You can send a text. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. And depending on what the person puts on their page, you could damn near text them on their cell phone. Because people uh-huh. used to you be calling people. You, you be calling people that you see on Facebook? Y'all be doing them dry calls? Oh, hell, oh, don't you hate those dry calls? Yeah. Like, like, don't you hate those dry video calls? Yo, I got a female currently. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I think I put her archived, restricted, everything I thought I could do, and and I don't know how she keep getting to. I don't. I don't think she making fake pages or something. What did you do to her? I don't even know her. I can't say I even laid eyes on her, and I didn't touch her. I did not touch her. Uh uh-uh. oh! Stop! 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 I don't know her. Oh, she wants you to she's touch that bad. Oh, got she's... no pictures on the page. Nothing. I don't know where it came from. And her men, they think I'm something, and I'm just trying to figure out where they know me from. Like where? Mm. Who? Somebody told a friend or something. I don't try. I didn't touch her. Mm. I probably might touch her. Mm, she might want to get bit. I don't. I, first of all, I'm trying to stop touching people because I don't even be penetrating holes or nothing. Like I don't penetrate holes, and people be like, "But, but Harley, you know, next time." But there is no next time. Like I done played with you for two hours. Mm-hmm. I don't know what emotions you got going through your head. Just deal with yourself, face it. Contact me a week from now. I had somebody mm-hmm. have to care check on me for a week. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. I ain't even do it. Mm-hmm. You delegate you... duty. See you dele- See that's not whole shit. You delegate All I did was rub some thighs. I promise. All I did was rub some thighs. That must have been a hell of a rub. I know, right? Who knew you did something? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but, you I know, just smell like Medusi and then, and then talk about you being weird to me. <laughs> All I did was rub some, rub some thighs. I didn't I, mm. a vlogger, rub some thighs, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's, let's, um, let's get back on track here. So um <laughs> there's um single and solo mindedness right like nobody even wants to work as a team anymore to to really affect the party and um you know to me that you know that's that's on some whole shit a little bit um because even if you're not a legit couple you know i feel like you know some people want to help each other out you know, male and female, you know, attend a party as a couple and try to help each other out, you know, in, in, in the other way. I, I think that's, I think that helps a party vibe. 
but um, I see a lot more people just like, nope, I'm here to do me. Nope, I'm here to do me. And it just, I don't know. They just doing yep, them. Because and that's all it they, is. Yeah, because they didn't bring them in to actually to what the whole premise of the party is. That goes back right back to what Harley was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't have a conversation with the host, if you don't really know what's the vibe, but you're just trying to go to feel it out, yeah, that might be somebody who's a little bit seasoned mm -hmm. who's saying that, mm -hmm. who's been around long enough to know, like, you have to feel your vibe. You're going to have to do what you're going to do, you know, because obviously something ain't hitting mm -hmm. or something happened to where now, you know, the person has to be guarded like that. Mm -hmm. I walk around and <laughs> get him. Yeah, it, it fools out the chain. For real. Damn snack hole. He live in a glass house and he walk around, dude. <laughs> You know, I'm sick of Joe Cell. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, brother keep plenty of liquor around now. I don't know. So. <laughs> I think I think we're at a point now where you can't really yes vet the people, but I think the events need to be vetted more than yeah. the people. Well, you know. I, shit, people ain't gonna be able to pay them bills if they, they start vetting people. They, you, so you, you try to say these rent parties? Yeah, party. basically. Yeah. Hotel rent party. Hotel wow. rent parties. Uh, hey, to me, I mean, if you're not vetting people and you don't have don't any it. kind of decorum or etiquette, or you're not requiring people to do certain oh. things. You just it's just throwing it out there. Just requiring them to turn up, come ready yeah, to turn come up. Come ready to turn up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are y'all seeing more hotel parties versus Airbnb things now? Because I'm I seeing more Airbnb, Airbnb parties. Actually, I'm seeing more Airbnb parties. I'm more not getting any invites. I haven't gotten one. What and I'm seeing say? more. Airbnb, like I said, them diamond or, key parties, they be hitting the or, parties. Or let me just go on the record and say, like, mm. I see more, um, no shade, no tea. Um, oh. Oh. I see more, um, mm, let me celebrate my birthday out of state at the Airbnb. Yes. I would yes, like because it, the market is flooded. Like, y'all gonna have, we gonna hop on these flights, well, aka, the person throwing the party is the travel agent going for free. Y'all paying four fifty for them to go for free. <laughs> Y'all better make sure it's food at them houses. Mm. Well, you see, we're not we're not trying to go to Miami, okay? <laughs> we ain't going to Miami, okay? Mm. okay. No, listen. We going with a passport saying <laughs> I did damn. start with no shade, no tea, but that ain't been listen. That's funny. It's just, <laughs> listen, it's shade and tea over here, okay? <laughs> a handful of things that's going on in the next Ooh, six months that I'm looking like, ooh, this person about to see the world on people who try, who people, hopefully they looking at how many males and females they got coming because. Oh, bad. I know what part are you talking about. That's funny as shit. Nigga, listen. <laughs> see, shade and tea. That's what I said, shade and tea. Black men don't be having their passport and you can't be nothing to me if you ain't got one. So you definitely getting left at a party. Right, because know. they got them charges and they got that so, child support they got to take care of. Y'all might want to hop these flights oh, because if y'all going to pay this 450 <laughs> y'all y'all might as well get put in a room with a roommate and, you know, at least have a chance of working on your roommate. You might as well pay shorty straight up and then watch. You're going to get her. Hey, shorty, straight up. Just just put it in a hand. But just know that's like what you're going to because I... Mm -hmm. I would put, it just, put it in the bag. I'd crack up a post if I was y'all. <laughs> Come for the person you paid your money to. You might get a flight for free or something. Can, can you see we, what I'm saying? Can, can, can we jump back to the Airbnbs? <laughs> Yeah, the Airbnb. Can we jump back to the Airbnbs? Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, Airbnb. So, so how are people getting away with that? Do they know the person that owns the Airbnb? What, yes. What is, is that what it is? They, yes, they know the person. The person that owned the property had them PPP loans that they try and pay back. So mm -hmm. they at the party too. Mm. Uh, but the business is booming, so they're not locked up. So, yes, they're going to have fun. <laughs> they're not locked up. They actually did the legit business. Once mm. you do the legit business, okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And those house parties, listen, they're way more intimate. I would more likely be, I would be more likely to play if it's at a house party. But mm. uh, depending on who's there and the vibe, mm, I still might not bust it open. 
Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. I still don't know. The right. 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 And then when I when I come up with with the condom to 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 give them head, and then they want to act all. Well, let the girl over there uh, give it's, it's okay. like that, and I'll be over here in the front. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you see? Yes. You see? Oh, because yes. I want to be all safe. Yes. yes. Thank you. I really it's appreciate your it. Your safety is unattractive, yes. ma'am. Yes. I'm going for the feel. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> you should have paid me. Bye. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. Are, are, is that affecting parties, too? Because, you know, everybody... Everybody got their OnlyFans thing going on, and we do got a large range of sex workers. See, but that's different. That's you shouldn't be doing that at no lifestyle party. Like if the lifestyle is lifestyle, that's the place to go have fun and all of that kind of shit, mm-hmm. right? But all of that extra stuff, no, that's that's outside. Like the no, 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 listen. Is not the business within the lifestyle. Life. Next week, on the first BLX. thing we said was we don't know what type of party this is though. So <laughs> I paid my three fifty. But then I can't. But then I can't talk to you to get to know you or to f- have a vibe with you because then I might vibe with you and then you might be charging me two fifty mm-hmm. to vibe with you. Cause I see you later. This was. Mm. Cause Listen. I know what type of party this was. So it ain't is what it used to was. No. It ain't is what it mm. used to was. But listen, some guys like it like that. Some guys like it like that to get the girl not doing it, the one they want not doing it. But then this other little one over here, she got the little extra twist on her. But you got to give her an extra fifty or a hundred. But what if my pocket's not that deep? I I went broke getting in. That's why I'm trying to eat all the free wings. Why is the people going to the parties broke? I may not understand them kind of words. Because they thing. are. But you know what? That's a good preview for next week. The business within <laughs> the lifestyle. <laughs> We can talk no, about that next week. I don't week. know, yeah. We can talk about I, that next week. I think it's a thin line. I do. Um, I think it's a thin line. We ain't talking I, about them kind of hoes. I think it's a. <laughs> I think it's a thin line. Um, it's, it's, it's no boundaries. Yeah, it's like look, my no hands with everything right now. Um, mm. Everybody is living their best life. Like they took YOLO and applied it to everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, damn right. Yeah, all oh, Joselle said KD hosted the best events mm-hmm. and applied it to everything. And so, yeah, that 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 damn gangbang area definitely had a, got a piece of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, it was called the basement. Yeah. <laughs> that little corner it's over the whole there. Thing. It was dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I remember the wife went to sleep because the husband was having fun, and I'm like, oh lord, lady. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Embarrassing the team. What <laughs> the shit? Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. No, but it was great. Mm-hmm. Yep. It, it, it's gonna be there again. Um. So, all right. So we we're talking about what. So what is you know what? Let's talk about what a hoe is. What do you think a hoe is? I know we've been kind of dancing around it, but let's say specifically, what is a hoe? You know. I don't- if they if these people are going to these parties just for the sex, I mean, how can we point them out? How you know is is it acceptable? I mean, you know these parties now we're calling them fuck parties and that's all they are. All right, so who the hoes? Like, you know, for instance, you know, I know I could point out a hoe. You know, um, what's well, so, up? Well, how you go point out a hoe? If you if you playing and with somebody already and they just come up and interrupt to shoot they shot. You know, and and you know they don't give a fuck about what's going on. They the hoe. You know. Oh, and you and you let them just do whatever as they walk up. No, no, but it happens anyway because they just can't no, control themselves. No, that's what I'm asking you. You yeah, said no. They just, yeah, they just can't they control themselves. That's interrupting, or is it the person? They, they who... interrupt. The person interrupted. Like they just pff, focus. Ooh, they I want that person, and they don't care about if the person they want is engaged with someone oh, or if they, you know is doing or whatever. To me, that's the, the person that's interrupting the is the hoe. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a hoe. That's a hoe, not the hoe, but that's a hoe. A I, hoe. I can agree yeah. with that. Yeah. That's a hoe. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, what about the person who they're playing? Say, Shorty's getting, you know, she's getting hit from the back mm-hmm. from her guy mm-hmm. or some other guy, whoever, mm-hmm. and then someone else comes up and she go ahead and engages them and doesn't know them. Okay. Is she a hoe too, or is she just having fun at the lifestyle party? She's just having fun at the lifestyle party. 
So why is she not a hoe too? Because she don't know that man. Well, she's not breaking any rules. Is he breaking any well, rules she, with the person well, she's she was sure playing is with? engaging that hoe. So that, that makes her a hoe too. Well, so the person not getting consent is the hoe. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about like, you know, violations of decorum and etiquette, I mean, yeah. there was no violation there. It just she... takes it upon themselves to enter to to the fuck up the personal space, the imposer. Was the guy hitting it from the back complaining? I mean, it depends if his dick got soft or not. Oh, okay. Because so sometimes they're not going to say nothing. They'll leave it up to the woman to say something because it's her mouth, it's her body that's being entered. Right. So if she don't say nothing and she down with it. Hmm. Okay. She's, you know, she's, you know, kind of perpetuating that. Mm -hmm. That's why when I'm at the parties and I see girls, they get a hit from the back and then, you know, guy just walks up. If she's not with it, mm -hmm. if, you know, if the girl gives me a, a, a signal, a, a, a something, and if I'm not engaged in anything and she gives me a signal mm -hmm. that she's not with it, mm -hmm. yeah, she's, she's not a hoe. Right. She's just trying to do her lifestyle thing. She's mm -hmm. not trying to go, you know, to the max. So the, yeah, I would be like, hey, hey, you know what? Come over here. Come over here real quick. Mm -hmm. Give her three feet of space. Mm -hmm. Go beat your dick over there somewhere. Matter right. of fact, put it up. Different women. So somebody asked, what's the difference between a lifestyle party and a fuck party? No rules. Mm -hmm. Well, no most, rules. Li most lifestyle parties you go to that, to me, that are legit, there's some rules read. You know, there's yes. there's vetting way before some you introductions. Even walk in the door. There's introductions. There's all that, and then you know when you do introductions, the people are actually honest about what they're into, and what they came to the party for. So everything's out mm -hmm. in the open. To me, fuck parties. You just you know you paid your admission to get in, either at the door or in advance, and you walk in as you are, and you try to make it happen on your own. The host doesn't help. You know the host ain't hosting. You know the host is collecting. You know, they chilling or they walking around or they drinking or they fucking themselves. To me, that's the difference. Does that work? Mm. You know? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, because at the fuck party, the host is probably just fucking and, and taking money. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't invite, you know, he or she didn't invite everybody. They wanted to fuck. And, you know, they done collecting the money. They didn't close the doors. Now they doing their thing. You know, they ain't trying to help nobody else do theirs or make connections or or actually know what other people's play styles are and try to make connections, you know, with with other other guests. You know, to me, it's just, hey, hey, we all here, you know, we all, all here. Find what you want. Yep. It, you know, the Sprite is over there. The Hennessy's over there. The bathroom's down there. All right, I'll holler. And that's it. You know, to me, those are fuck parties. Yeah, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. That I can agree with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not going to find me there. Mm -mm. I'm going to agree with that. Yeah. I mean, you know, because I mean, I've, I've been to some parties and shit. Some brothers done rolled in. I'd be like, nigga, I know you ain't in the lifestyle. I mean, you can just tell. And sure what? enough, 10, 15 minutes later, they drunk. You know, walking around, you know, you know, this is my first time doing this shit. You know, they walk in and look like straight gangsters. And next thing you know, they drunk, you know, staring at pussy. You're talking about, yeah, you know, this is my first time. Come on, bro. You know, come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, but those first timers, I don't I don't mind the first timers because I get to talk to them. Mm -hmm. And then they, I, I get so far in their little minds and then set them free and then they have a great time. Mm. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I take them, I talk to them, and I set the motherfuckers free. And then they have a better time for it. And they're like, wow, I never knew that. Nobody ever told me that. I'm like, yeah, well, nobody cared. Right. Yeah. Right. And, but but would have been at the party with a whole person who has been in the lifestyle, has been going to these parties, but is just bringing them in because they're, more, free, because their sex is good. The, couples, the couple price is more appeasing a lot of times, so... Well, yeah, it is. You know, you bring somebody, mm -hmm. or you come as a couple. Yeah, it should. You know, okay. it is less expensive than being coming as a single man. Yeah, definitely. Better but you know, in. a lot of them guys bring duds, so yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, he does. I listen. A lot of a lot of groups or gatherings, I'll say. Uh, you know, you never know if it's catering. Sometimes things you 
you get the feel that it's just catering to the women, but it's just that the lanes, the men be lanes, so the women flirt with each other. Mm-hmm. Right, right, and that's why I can see the single men price being so high because it's like, you, why are you gonna have a single guy who can afford twenty dollars, and he he's he, that's a hope. He's gonna be looking for any old thing, right? But if you set the price a certain way, like no, this is the kind of price range of a man that we're looking for. Mm-hmm. This this is the kind that's gonna fit with these ladies that's here because these ladies are some hitters. Like you can't be coming in disappointing these ladies. So right, right. yeah. As I say again, we we should get uh what's her name, Diamond Key on the show. Cause yeah, she's she's a good one. Uh-huh. I like her parties. Yeah, I mean yeah. I'm for I'm for having people on that's, you know, reputable. You know, they host a good they put on a good event, a good party. You know, and a good team. It's, your team matters. Your team yes. Matters. Your team matters. That yeah. thing. I felt like I was the team of me for a minute. But yeah, team does matter. Yeah. Yeah. No, it'd be like that sometimes. Because, mm-hmm. you know, hosting an event, we talked about this before a few shows ago. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're hosting, it's not easy. Mm-mm. It's not easy. There's a lot of factors to consider. And then when shit starts going down, Ain't nobody else there to say, hey, right. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could have a, a, a few regulars or a few close people who might be there to assist mm-hmm. to some degree. But if you don't have like a real team mm-hmm. that's focused on the success of the event, then because and a the lot experience, of people yes. look for their selfish pleasures mm-hmm. and. You can't have people that's gonna focus on that. You y'all gotta be focused on the experience that people are having. Mm-hmm. Providing, yep. providing a yep. space that that's safe one, um, and all that. Yep, mm-hmm. and I gotta keep some order because when you got a bunch of black people in the hot house, mm-hmm. they gonna start acting up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're well dressed and nice, yeah, and the liquor's flowing. Yeah, you got to be able to keep some order mm-hmm. up in there. It's, you know. Hell yeah. You got to be willing to put some people out. Like, yes. Real, you know what I'm saying? that You know, not forcefully. Like, yo, bro, you might want to leave. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it ain't working out. No, for no, you. not that not, no, you might want to leave. Like, yeah. you know, this is your time to go. Well, yeah, when I say might, like, that's that's what it is. Yeah, you might want to go. Because what's going to yeah. ha- happen next ain't, ain't really pretty. And I'm not trying to do that. So, it's just... This you know, let's handle it like gentlemen and you leave, bro. We good. You know? So Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if the lady is, you know, being too drunk, loud, obnoxious, and doing all kind of extra mm-hmm. stuff, now she got to go too. I attracted, yeah. And I feel like women feel like they can't get kicked out. Like they're a high commodity, they can't get removed. Um, right. No guns, Joe. No guns. Sorry. Yeah, like if you feel like you can't be removed, you got another thing coming. Like nobody is that. Nobody's that impressive. Right. Nope. And that's why there's always security. <coughs> they got to be secured. I think that's one difference at a fuck party and a lifestyle party. Fuck parties, security. fuck security. Yeah. Ain't no security at fuck parties. No. We yeah. coming in here to smash and dash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lifestyle parties, there's security or somebody who's really good at enforcing order. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Wait, Topanga said, didn't you say you're not LS? Why are you attending events? Who, Who's that? Uh, who's, who's Topanga responding to? He's responding to, she's responding to Joe. Topanga, <laughs> don't, 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 don't get into Joe's circle. Because it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, the rabbit hole. It's just, you're just going down a rabbit hole, boo. He, he, he does everything, you know, he has, he does stuff at his crib sometimes. You know, he'll go to parties and all that stuff. Like, Listen, yeah. Don't tell him don't play with Topanga because she not with his, she not with the shit. Topanga will flip with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love me, said Topanga. Yeah. Topanga, why you not here today? Right. You got you got to see us in the chat. Mm-hmm. Cause like for you real, got to see me. <laughs> He seems misfitish. Yes, that's a good word for it. <laughs> that's, that's misfitish, a, Joseph. That's a, real good hey. word. that's a real good word. So speaking hey. of speaking of whole shit. So <laughs> whole shit. All right. You mm-hmm. out here fucking everything. 
It doesn't matter what he or she look like, what the, whatever. You're going to smash. You're going to roll up on it. You're going to do it. You know, to, it, it, would you agree? Is that whole shit? Uh, and yeah, if a that's, lady, that's general, like vanilla, regular old, right, old shit. Right. Yes. If they suck toes, they suck in everybody's okay, toes. Most <laughs> it. <laughs> suck toes, I'm going to suck everybody's toes. That's old shit. Right, right, right. But I got a friend like that that's a swinger. They don't have no boundaries. Like, everybody can get it. <laughs> they're a hoe. Yo, my Sorry, friend. Boo-boo. So. My they're, friend. They're a hoe. They're a hoe. So, okay, so mean, we was talking about last week about alpha females being, you know, being picky or whatever, and they want certain dudes and, you know, you know, top 10 percent, you know, so yeah. now, now we on to, you know, so I think like we sending some big signals. So we're saying that no, some of them are hoes, too, though. Oh, OK. Some of them are hoes, too, where they will just be fucking every old thing. So mm-hmm. sometimes that temp, that top 10 percent of the most desirable men that all the women want, <coughs> sometimes they ain't worth a damn. Oh, no, for real? There's a them and there's a damn, and then <laughs> it's a the lie. damn is worth more. Oh damn! You see? So now we. So you got you got to know your lane. Mm-hmm. No, because some of them is hoes. I, I met a few really nice, well dressed hoes that got some money. Mm-hmm. I'm going on the record to let y'all know my friend is a guy. Though my friend is a guy, mm-hmm. yeah, a penis shearer, not a. It's not a female. So. Not a female. <laughs> you you like women? Who, me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a whole girlfriend. You met That's me with true. my girlfriend. <laughs> did you introduce me? Did you did you introduce her to me as your girlfriend? Or yes. Or my friend? You okay. No, you see me and you. Me and my girlfriend was at your, <laughs> at your party. Oh, and did you, that, is that what that was? My bad. That, <laughs> she, she For real? Host, just, I know, right? No. Kind of He's looking at titties and ass. You see? <laughs> Pretty much. Out on them cards. There was a lot going on that day. It was a lot going on. It was a lot. Man, we keep going back to that. Because <laughs> it was great. And I keep telling y'all we're not going to talk about this over Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> we, keep, we keep going back to that party. I said we're not going to talk about this over Thanksgiving dinner, but uh, for reference, yes, you met me with my girlfriend at the bush. <laughs> oh. Okay. You see me and my girlfriend mm, so at your house. I'm, I'm, I'm trying I to mean, think which one that was. He probably forgot at the bush because you know the little booty with the with the hole in it, and you got to dig in it to get. The, it was probably the little dig in the thing that yeah. made him forget. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of fingers been up in that little cooter, sure and in a booty too. Mm. You met me with my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, Maya Monroe chimed in. Um, oh well, hey y'all. And let's see, what did Topanga say? Uh, they be undercover hoes. Pay pay attention to the fine ass women at parties uh, that no oh, man yeah. pays attention to. They they had their what? They had her already. Yeah, they had her already. Okay. Yeah. 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 That that happens too. Because oh yeah, because yeah, what Joe Cell said, he said. The young guys, they like the new new. They they like they like it fresh. Yeah, they plot yes. on the, they plot on the new faces, the 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 faces that people mm-hmm. have not seen. Right. I mean, is that the whole shit? I mean, that might- I don't think that's. I, I mean, that's that's kind of hoish. Fine, that's me being selfish. I don't want you. I don't want you to int- and because <laughs> no, because once we play three times, like I'm I'm kind of done with you. Once I don't we play three times. New no. over here coming in. <laughs> I'm trying to take this new person under my wing. Yes, but they got to be wingable. I try if to they're not wingable, them. then they got to go. Mm-hmm. They no, got to be wingable. That's, vanilla, that's a vanilla. That's a vanilla thing, though. You know, um, you know. Oh, they knew. Let me hop on them and let me not share them. No, y'all can't touch them. Mm-hmm. Mm mm. Cause that's that's really, that's kind of like not lifestyle. That's like you, you trying to have a being in the lifestyle with a vanilla mindset. It's like what do you like? What are you really doing? And that's what gets things twisted. Like nobody wants to wipe that up. Like get that yeah. shit out of here. Like people be catching feelings. It'd be the- yes, it be in a party trying to make sweet sweet love and, and keep the and keep the girl hostage all night. 
like a flex. Like, oh yeah, she with me all night. Mm -hmm. She not gonna go mess with nobody else. Nope. Like it's a flex. No, dude, you trying to make sweet, sweet love with that freaking chicken marsala you got going on between your legs. Get that shit out of here. They be cuddling. And I mean, I am- Chicken a... marsala, the wet mushroom. Get it out of here. Mm -mm, <laughs> stop. So you trying to say that we can't cuddle at the party? I can't cuddle at the party. No. No cuddle. I know we could cuddle if it's just me and you. <clears throat> and the door's locked and the lights is down low. Damn. If it's me and you, then red we could cuddle. Bulb, red light bulb and stuff, you know. I got Alexa be taking care of it for me, so. For mm. real. Yeah. For the, see, team. Teamwork make the dream work. Mm -mm. We could cuddle, but no, nah, I, I ain't cuddling with no dude at no party. Get off of me. Oh, shit. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You know, and I'm not going to say it like that either. I have my ways where I'm, you know, gentle about it. And they be like, oh, okay, thank you so much. I had such a good time. Can I have your number? Uh, well, I do like the cuddle. Cuddling is definitely my thing. But, yeah, no I, no cuddling at the party. So, and oh, and no shut doors. And how about let's, let's normalize, normalize not playing with people who don't come with play bags. Like, bingo. That's the okay. difference between a lifestyle That's and a party. party. In the fuck party. Yeah, bags. You know, if if you're carrying a bag into a party and you got a whole bunch of stuff in it, clothes, toiletries, you know, everything you need for a lifestyle party, and yeah, you 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 in the lifestyle. But if you just yeah, show you up, you got some idea what's what. Yeah, if you just show up, you know, you ain't got shit in your pockets, but the entry fee, you know what I'm saying? Then yeah, you on some hoes. And shit. three condoms for mm -hmm. all night. How about no condoms? <laughs> How about it? How about That's no condoms? Okay. Like, okay. you, you, you ain't got no condoms here, bro? Like, for real. I can't like carry that shit piece. around. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shit. We're going to gouge the hell out of them prices. Right. So if you carry a whole bag, you in the lifestyle. <laughs> if you don't have a bag, you a hoe. <laughs> you heard all that sound of you carry a whole bag. You, <laughs> you should see this nigga's whole bag, okay? He's a professional hoe. Spend the night bag. That's what they call it now. Spend the night bags. Because <laughs> <laughs> hoes will be hoes. I mean, people who know what they're doing keep keep a packed bag in the trunk. Pull up game nice. Mm. For real. Pull up game nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got a whole party in my trunk. Pull up game nice. When I had a, a whole car, party. Mm. With plenty of waters and Gatorades too, cause right. bitch, we work around here. <laughs> mm -hmm. People be trying to dehydrate your life. Have you out here looking dehydrated and ashy? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then take a picture looking tired and sad, and ran through. Talk about yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. No, she came there looking like that. So, what do you think about the women that that go to the party and all they do is walk around wearing like multiple outfits, lingerie, so and taking pictures? What 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 is that? You think that's whole shit or is that lifestyle? No, she's thirst trapping. She doesn't mm. want anyone at the party, really. Yeah, she's just thirst fun. trapping so she could set some shit up later. Mm. Is that what that is? Yes. That's not whole shit. She minding her business. Hmm. Thirst that's trapping. not whole shit. She's thirst trapping to take pictures and then she posting it mm. and this and that. Yeah, oh, she's thirst trapping. <laughs> I felt like it was a few. <laughs> Why KD talking about me? KD, stop talking about Maya. <laughs> Don't be talking to <laughs> like that, KD. <laughs> Maya being there looking good as shit. My bad, Maya. She's talking about 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 Maya. Yeah, but so, we about to go on a road trip soon. <laughs> show up and looking cute. That's it. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> click. That's all we get. <laughs> nah, Joselle, you got a price to pay for that one. Maya, let me see. <laughs> Megan mm. said, I shower and change every time I play at a party. I like to look fresh. So are, are we not yes. just clothes after we play? Are we? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, yes, right. So, KD, do you mean the women who just change and don't play, or they changing after every outfit? Like, what, no, they change what, what? and don't play. Like, I was at Missy King's, and I, 
you know, I saw a bunch of women. And my impression was they were changing outfits, you know, sitting around. They had nice lingerie on, but they were changing outfits and just taking pictures. They didn't pull. They didn't pull who they wanted to pull yet. You know, they yeah, wanted- they're thirst trapping to try to get well. Maybe that outfit wasn't hitting, so let me change because I got a little sweaty. And then you know, I'm gonna see who I can get. Or maybe they did play. And they're just being incognito about it and setting yeah. appointments like yeah. I do. And then they come back like, ooh, fresh and new, take pictures, I'm still here. Right. Okay. First of all. Maya, I'm, is that what you do? I'm not accustomed to certain level parties with pictures either. Like, don't be taking selfies and have me in your background. I might not. I'm, I don't want everybody right. to be here, even though I'm at the party. Like, <laughs> I'm not taking no And posting your own pictures at the party. I post my own pictures. I might post my own pictures depending on the type of party it is. Yeah, but no, no, I don't post pictures. I like I'm those out. parties with no phones. I love those parties with no phones. The same lady I said whose party we should go to, Harley. She, she got yeah. nice rules and everything laid out like real parties. nice. And I'm liable to spend my money there. Those might be the lifestyle parties. <laughs> yup. That's, That's down cool. Maryland. That's discretion. Oh, wait, I'm going to Virginia. Wait, well, yeah, we can talk. <laughs> I'll be in Virginia real soon. And not Baltimore. I said Maryland. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, yeah, like nice big house, everything. Like, it's either I, between um, one or I'm two liable. houses. I'm liable to go to the party if the rule is no phones. Yes. And one of the houses has the indoor pool. You know, I'm le- I'm still a baby at this, so I'm learning. I'm st- I'm a baby. I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Well, you you need say some that milk? all the time. You need some milk? No, I'm a forever be a newbie. I don't mm-hmm. care what nobody say. Now, unless y'all want to get tired and insert anything else after that without penetration, like I'm, yeah, I'm a be a newbie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm new, and when I introduce myself, I'm new to this. Mm-hmm. I dabble. I moonlight. I had to tell somebody today, like I moonlight as a swinger. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not there totally because I don't feel like. I mean, I know my etiquette and stuff is a hundred percent, but I also, you know, I don't be knowing what people be meaning when they be talking to me because I have common sense and they don't be having it. Common sense ain't common, so maybe I'm the. Right. I'm the person that don't have an understanding because I don't be getting what they be coming from. Right. <laughs> so it must be me. I must be new. <laughs> I, I I hear this story every week. You're not new, Harley. You're in the lifestyle. Thank you. Harley been around the world and now yeah, yeah. How long? She gonna so, slap somebody. I uh, how long have I been in the lifestyle? Which one? Which lifestyle? I've been I've been a BDSM Whoa. for like eight years, six to eight years, eight years. I'm gonna claim all eight because people talk about me when I say it's been less. Um, and my friends do playrooms at swing parties. So like I was, that's how I started going. My friends used to host the playrooms at certain parties here and in Jersey. And so that's how I kind of got introduced to swing. Um, so I've probably been doing that for about four years Mm. going here and there dabbling. I think I've been to my first real big party in like pre COVID and then I, I do BDSM, so I go to like small things and do BDSM at parties out of out of state, not yes. Jersey, not Philly, <laughs> no, <laughs> of state, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, or out the country. I've been to Hedo on a trip, uh, but yeah, out of state, <laughs> out the country, not in my comfortable space because I don't like talking about what happened at the party over Thanksgiving dinner. We ain't kitchen table in it, mm-hmm. so that's my thing. <laughs> Um, cool. But yeah, but I still, like I said, I'd be new because uh, they be having conversations with me and make me think like maybe it's me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe it's me. Nah, nah, because when I met you, you was on some fuckboy shit, and I was on some fuckboy shit right <laughs> around that time too. So I, I can't. I, I would not hold that against you. Yeah, no, but I claimed it. <laughs> Listen. I claimed it. Nobody can say that they met me and I never claimed who I was. You know, like when you talk to me, I definitely was like, you know, I'm really not looking for a relationship. I'm out here being a fuck boy. Mm. Me being a fuck boy means oh, this how you either choose to engage with me right here where I'm at like this 
Like, if this work for you, or it don't, it don't, cool beans, you know, see when I see you. That part. And who says, <laughs> Gil G asked me, how long have I been in the lifestyle? Since 2017. GG. Yeah, I started out um, flirting with a girl at work. And she was like, you know what? Is a group you could my you could possibly join. So I had a conversation with the um with the owner of the group. And I wanna say like within a month or two, um, I was an admin um for her group. So I started going to like little parties here and there and I'm like, Oh yeah, these people like they just wanna fuck. Like, yeah, I, I wanna have some sex, but not like that. Like that's like I like my my dirty with a little air of clean to it. You know what I'm saying? My hands are dirty, but my gloves are clean. So, yeah, no, I was able to find my lane. Like, well, the first types of parties, does. the first parties I went to, the group, like the people were older. So, like, you know, I say all the time, I'm 36 now, um, and I was at parties five years ago with people in their 40s pushing 50 so mm -hmm. that mattered you know like the people I were around I was around the the company I kept was seasoned and I mean those are my people too like I like older people so like that's where I'm comfortable at I don't feel preyed upon with them so you know I that's my space I I don't it, again and that's crazy I don't feel preyed upon and I need to be around groups of people that are 40 plus and, and now yeah, that's I, I don't, because I don't I'm like 40 plus. So that's growing now because I'm that's growing now because I'm 36, but my ex is 53. So like I'm comfortable there. That's I, that's my space. I like it there. I like the conversation. I like the life skills. I like I like that space. You know, mm -hmm. um I went to something in Maryland for to a group randomly. Somebody took me random. This guy was talking to, and the nature of conversation at that meet and greet was like 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 they was in selling inside trader secrets like <laughs> mm. like I, I felt like i ain't belong there mm. people knew me i didn't even know they knew me you know so i like that environment it's nice there that's that's my space but if i'm identifying as a fuck boy i might go to a fuck party because i might be on some fuck boy shit please don't hop in my inbox afterwards though like yeah let's let's we gotta go to them parties uh the one i was talking <laughs> to in maryland because the people like i like the parties where they're like like they're mid-30s and up for not like i don't want to see nanny and pawpaw at yeah. the party but i mean listen I, I'm scared to go to party with 20, 20, 30, 35 year olds now because they look like they older than the 53 year olds and mm. they, that's a hard life that I ain't trying to get exposed to. No yeah, not them 20, not them 20 somethings. Then, them, no, you got to have your crop ready to beat them. But I'm not trying to be an ageist or, or commit ageism. You know, I'm really not trying to be any type of phobic toward anything, but Y'all be looking like that, like they be they they be looking like it's a lot going on in life. And the 53, 54, 60, they be looking like they they be fast and free, like they let their hair down and be cool. I, yeah, but no, because because you know what? Because they they have made their stamp in life, and when they when they uh, when they have accomplished certain things in life, and they can stand up straight and tall, and mm -hmm. they walking in that party with that confidence, because you know confidence is the sexiest. Uh, attribute of the and sexiest that, accessory that you can wear ah. their dick pic don't leave what they doing you know they oh yeah no i don't want to see those dick pics though. When, whenever a certain age I, I don't need to see it necessarily no because it's probably not going to be hitting like that anyway listen and i engage with couples i just i just i'm not a unicorn so i'm not gonna fuck y'all and i'm gonna let y'all know ahead of time but we can engage and talk you know, I'm not going to say never, ever, but, like, maybe yeah. I might get comfortable because the wife might mm -hmm. be comfortable and maybe it might be something I buy into, but, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm particular. Yeah, I, I'm real particular about who. It doesn't matter really. Like, yeah, your age matters. Yeah. I prefer older. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain things I don't, I don't need to see. If, if you a young stallion, let me see that shit because I know you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? The older ones, they just like come eat my butt, and they will come. So yeah, it's <laughs> come on now. Subtle differences, okay? Subtle differences. 
Hey, I can't with you to now have no liquor stopping. <laughs> we are staying right. The my water bottle is done. Keep you gotta stay in my butt and they'll come. Yes. I think I think it do matter. Like I I'm telling y'all, it it rides right back to <laughs> these events. But in these events, like it ride right back to that. You know, like I probably would have never <laughs> Went to the places I went. <laughs> <coughs> I'm done. I need my butt. <laughs> you gonna stop because I don't no liquor. You. <laughs> I think I got some uh, overproof from, and that is just not about to do. Come on, hundred proof, hundred proof. Bring them out, bring them out. Overproof Jamaican rum. <laughs> bring it out, you. Come on, bring it out. Bring out your bring it out. Not to Pango talking about. She like her ass ate. You know what? I'm, I'm done. Damn, we ain't ass tonight. Y'all don't even like people touching y'all. Like, I'm done. I'm trying to figure out how y'all even get there without people touching y'all. Um, Listen, it's the vibes. You got to dime the vibe. Okay? <laughs> it's ten toes down. You got to dime the vibe. We, we're going from, no, I'm not playing with nobody. Uh, yeah, you are right to come eat my butt. And so, but but that was a life that was that was a lifestyle party though because y'all had all y'all built that up y'all mm. built up to that. It yes. wasn't like you was in the room. He came out with his dick out and was like, "Let's, <laughs> I'm gonna eat your butt." And you was like, "Okay, <laughs> no, that's a fuck party." Who are you, sir? Papa, who's that man? <laughs> Shouldn't want nobody to touch her for they can lick her booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they can lick my booty. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just a hole. And matter of fact, I'm gonna ride your face when you look at my booty hole because I don't want your spit sliding down to my coochie and try to give me BB. I'm gonna let my juices go on you. Mm. <laughs> yo, this is too thought out, yo. <laughs> this, you have to think these things through. Yeah. Oh my There's goodness. principalities involved, okay? Yo. But here, here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't, I'm not a fan of riding faces, so you got that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of riding faces, but I will fucking do it. No, nah, I opt out. If it's my booty hole involved, it's my opt out. And I'll yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna reverse cowgirl the shit out of that shit. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, let me put my serious face on. You know what, y'all? <laughs> we all host. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Let me find out you ain't licking booty holes. Who? <laughs> Topanga said. <laughs> said that oh, Jocelle is like is not lifestyle, just lifestyle friendly now. But Topanga said, Katie, let me find out you ain't licking no booty holes. <laughs> you better ask. <laughs> Jocelle got drinks too. Mm. Oh, he said you better ask somebody. Mm-hmm. And Jocelle is not a hoe. Boom. <laughs> I, I, I probably so, say I'm the nastiest nigga at a party. So, so, so wait, as we take all, that. Is y'all all riding the line? <laughs> and my fuck boy riding it. Which, which y'all y'all do riding it's the line between? Or do it depend on? Do you mm. identify differently depending on what type of party it is? Mm. Mm. No, it, it, you gotta identify to what kind what kind of mood you're in that night. Okay. It has nothing to do with the party. Okay. What kind of mood you in? You mm-hmm. in the mood to be a little hoe tonight? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna set a cap? Are you gonna just right balls to the wallet? Right. Okay. Or are you gonna you know do your lifestyle thing and talk to the people and make your picks and all of that? Like what you gonna do? You gonna go through the motions or are you just gonna hit straight straight hit it? You gotta go for what you know and what your mood is. Mm-hmm. So, because if I feel like I'm on some whole shit, I'm probably not going outside. Oh, I'm probably not going outside. Okay, okay. Right. So you know, you know, Joe said he, <laughs> I'm not a hoe, but you know, I always say you you want to find a hoe, you you just holler out hoe. <laughs> the first one to say ain't not a hoe is the hoe. Right. <laughs> so, Joe, you it. 
<laughs> Yo, it's damn sure it. Because he said, because he said, KD, <laughs> you put him on to the lifestyle. I, I've been watching his comments this whole show. Bro. Yes. I'm he just, said KD was a bad influence. I'm yeah, they all say that. Everybody say that. On the whole side. <laughs> Everybody say I'm, I'm a bad influence, or Come on you know, they, the they, they had they start at my house or at my parties or whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, we, we just brought it out of you. You know, it was already there. But I like you already. Mm-hmm. You actually do. You get. You know. You you do the the like the sit down time. You know. Mm-hmm. Sit, we, buy, we watch the game. We shot the shoes. We shoot the yeah. shit. And then the intro. Like yeah, but see, that's the thing. We ask the direct question. What? Why are you here? What did you come here to do? You know. And then when people, you know, actually say they want their ass ate, you know, I'll take that. <laughs> you got people lined up and say, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'm. You know what? I'm into ass eating tonight, and I think I'll go introduce myself and partake. Yes, it's that got a of, wonderful je ne sais quoi. That kind of shit happens. That tastes so, yeah. like nothing. But I think that's what that's what makes a lifestyle party when you can actually set that kind of shit up. You know, you know random you know. ass eaters just because you're a hoe. Eh. That's you know. nasty. It, it, you know, that doesn't have the same kind of no good feeling. There's no justification. You know what I'm saying? It just ah. feels yeah. This feels like whatever. You know, there's no purpose. You know, mm-hmm. right that's here. chicken marsala to me. Oh, like, did you shower tonight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I need you to do that before I do this. Yeah. Yes, right, right, right. yes, because these men be at the parties just bird bathing it with leftover squirt sprayed on all the outside, but they're just bird bathing it and they didn't even wash their ass because everything drips down and they think they don't have to wash it too. Like, that's whole party, that's fuck party shit. But if I touch my booty hole, isn't that considered to be gay? If who touch who booty hole? If I touch my booty hole to wash it, isn't that considered to be gay? Oh, see, now you spilling tea on people. What? Am I? Or did you? No, you in the shower, yeah, that ain't about me. Oh, my finger go in my booty hole. <laughs> my finger goes in booty holes. <laughs> no, men should wash their ass. Listen, next week, <laughs> the business inside the lifestyle <laughs> on BLX. <laughs> Exclusive. I mean, Exclusive. Can uh-huh. we get a personal here for that? No. Who here for that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway. No. <laughs> no. Anyway. Um, it's a full moon tonight. It's a full moon. It's something. <laughs> oh no, it's a rainy night. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah. But yeah. Um yeah, but for real though, next week we're doing that. The business inside the lifestyle. Okay. So listen, if you're watching the show right now and you know, you, you do the pay to play shit, you know, get in the comments or you know Click like, click comment, share. Click share, whatever. Because that's what we're gonna be talking about because that's something else we've been seeing a lot of. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to close the show out on that one. And, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of that shit going on. And I know people paying. And I know the brothers that'll pay. You know, they'll knock out 100, 150, 200 just to score. You know, that's to me that's changing the game. uh, (laughs) That's changing the game, okay? And, um, yeah, so let's talk about that next week. Use the same energy, okay, that you got right now. Let's just use that. Right. Naps and water. I'm telling you, it's nah, medicine. Nah, right. So um, let's close the show out. What, what, what's popping this weekend for y'all? What y'all got coming up? I have a puff and paint in Brooklyn. Um, you get a free pre roll, a free drink. There's going to be eats, and then we're going to paint. Um, there's going to be a lot of lifestyle. Uh, friendly people there and lifestyle people there is not a lifestyle party but a lot of lifestyle people say oh well I just want to do something that doesn't have to do with sex or you know they're trying to build a tribe come on because there's a lot of tribe people who are going to be there painting and you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. exchanging cars we're going to be smoking and there's a lot of business that gets done so yeah come on now Um, it's in Brooklyn I'm going to post a flyer on the BLX page, mm-hmm. 
yeah, that's going to be great. So we're going to be doing that once a month. And I think uh, I do have some stuff coming up next month as well. We're going to have another paint party at the same location in Brooklyn. I think it's the name is the um, the gas stop mm-hmm. in Brooklyn. And um, we're going to have uh, live models mm-hmm. next month. So I'm working on the men now. So any of you men, any of you fellas, you got the nice buff bod. You know what I'm saying? Why you want to make a couple buff? of dollars. You want the people to paint you. Come Why? on. Why got to be buff bods? Why can't it be like teddy bears? I don't want dad bod for that. Mm. Oh, okay. Ralph Trasvant said, you mm. need a man with medium titties. Mm. For this event, <clears throat> he needs to have no titties. Mm. Okay. I am titty shaming. Mm. For this event next month, I'm titty shaming. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh no, he said you need a man with sensitivity. Sorry, not medium titty. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. <laughs> we know. Okay, Harley, what you got coming up? Man, I'm a homebody for now, y'all. Catch y'all. Catch me in February. I'll be outside. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 February, right. March. Since yeah. Applesauce is gonna be painting nipples yeah, yeah, this weekend. I paint nipples. I paint booties. Mm-hmm. I have a booty pic on my wall from one of my uh, one of my students. Actually, oh. it's really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. All right. So um, I won't be doing anything at the mansion for a while, but I am going to do some things outside in the street. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to put together an all ladies party um, in the next few weeks. So look. Zenobia. Out. Yeah, Zenobia. We're going we're going to bring Zenobia back up. And uh, I got a nice spot, so I'm going to hook that up. And then uh, I'm probably going to launch a, a BBW party in about a month and a half. Um, so look for that, too. All will right. there be chicken? <clears throat> there will always be chicken at my parties. Oh, That's it. Oh. Yeah, you going to be there? Okay. All right. Just for the chicken. All right. Yes, there will be chicken. Anytime I throw something, there's chicken there. Is what I, I do. might bring a nice uh, big thing of sangria too. Oh, uh, T- Topanga okay. is doing May Day, May nineteenth to the twenty first, and it's just May Day coming up. Just May Day right now. Hold on a second. I got her flyers. Hold on, man. Yep. I know I got her flyers. Where are the flyers at? Uh, hold on, Topanga. Hold on, Topanga. Here we go. All right. All right, Topanga. So you got, what'd you say you got coming up? You got May Day? May Day, yep. Okay, yeah, there are flyers up. May 21st. Uh-huh. Adult Field Day. All right, cool. So y'all see what Topanga got coming up? Yeah, Topanga's uh, feeling yeah, a little ill today. Sure and um, yeah, so um, but so that's what's up. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, you know, May yes. May 19th to 21st, I'll be in Honduras. What? Honduras. Oh shit. Okay. So, um, but yeah. So yeah. So you know, it's January, y'all. In the summer, gonna be here before you even know it, for real. So there's gonna be plenty of parties coming up. Um, plenty of hotel parties and everything. Plan them out. They'll, they'll be on BLX, and BLX will be attending quite a few of these. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so are we getting some BLX merch? Yes, we'll be getting some BLX merch. So it was, uh, you know, daddy vibe with the, put the uh, put there the money go. together. So that's hey. one of the reasons why he's trying to throw some parties. So, yeah. So that's, so, up. so that's what's up. All right. So listen, if you see daddy vibe, that's me. All right. Um, if you see that logo, that's me. So don't forget that. I know y'all used to seeing the mansion, used to seeing KD, used to seeing couple a couple of hustlers. hustlers and all that stuff. Like, yeah, just, just, just look for da- daddy vibe. That's what's going down in 2023. Uh, that's me. So wherever I go, wherever I host a party, that's what you're going to get. So everything you got at the mansion, you know, at, at my parties at the mansion, you're going to get wherever I go. It's going to be the same vibe. I'm going to do intros. I'm going to put people together, and I'm going to instigate. And everybody's going to be comfortable, and you're going to be as, be able to be as nasty as you want to be at my parties. Because that's just how I get down. All right? Yeah. You know, when you walk in the door, no, don't have no expectations, but expect to have a good time and expect to open up and, and be free to do you. All right. I'm trying to be the house warrior. That's it. Oh, here you go. You know what? Just bring your flog and do what you do. All right. That's all we need from you. Whoop some ass. And some paracord. That's it. Oh, shit. Here we we doing paracord? You know, I just, I just bought like two spools of paracord. What, what, Why? We're we gonna talk because that is not what you need to be trying to 
tie people up with it will no 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 that's just to like experiment like for myself like certain ties and stuff i'm just you know yeah you come to my house so i can gift you something okay <laughs> you just said power cord you know oh. me okay i don't want to be, you know me and you go buy power cord we we gonna talk mm. i'm gonna get you what you yeah. need mm. nice okay mm -hmm. okay yes ma'am thank you mm -mm. Mm -mm. My bad. I'm making some vloggers out of it. We, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, hey, yes, yeah. hey, I'm definitely bringing it. I bring it. Yay. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -mm. I'm oh, sorry. We missed that whole exchange with the power cords. I, I forgot to transition the screen over, but <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> oh, no. You can see it. It's the you light. Can <laughs> you can see it. But we up there now. But yeah, power cords, though. Power cord, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right. It's good for like just experimenting, you know. Yeah. yeah. If it's on yourself, yeah, but we, we Yeah, no, not on that's not for other people. I haven't put it on anyone else. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make some vloggers out of there. You can use it for sensation play and mm -hmm. then we're gonna get you where you need to be with everything else. Yeah. Yes, but I need like, I need like more like real vloggers, like nice heavy ones. Okay. We I gotta connect. Okay, is it power core or par paracord with the paracord, power cord para. para. However you want Okay, to. what's para paracord? What is that? Um, it is used for it's some of it is corded, so it's like uh sometimes it's cotton with like a Oh. You know okay. Stuff do I phrases? thought she said power cord, like extension yeah. cords. I'm like, oh no, not who's power. Asking you I'm not beating cords? people with that. Damn, they are rough. You yeah. know what's a shame? I actually thought she did it. <laughs> it's thin. But it's thin, so because it's so thin it, it's the knots are hard to get out and you can cut your circulation off and you just you see like, yeah this beating people <laughs> like she's some by grandma <laughs> but I would do it wow but yeah I mean if mm. you request it I'm with the shit oh. like give me, give me your you can pick your poison over here there's no power cord requests no nope, not happening yeah. Bella yeah. Donna this is mm -hmm. how you this, this is how it's I work off consent so mm. if you want me to beat you with my extension cord or my power strip, I'm with those shits. Consent to it. Pick your poison. I'm with those shits. God damn. You want to over the knee spanking with all the things that I probably would not even think of to use on you, but you mm. see it, you see it, you consent, you can have it. I'm with those that's shit. like masturbating with household items. That's that's this is why safe words exist. I'll just, yes. All I need you to know is. Red, yellow, and green. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. You know, red, yellow, and green. We're gonna talk about the actions. What happened when you say those? When you say those colors, mm -hmm. you consent. You give me your limits. Tell me all your heart limits. The things that you don't want done. It's a no go. It's a stop. No anal fisting. All that stuff. That's no power violence. cords. And then we can. And I didn't say that. <laughs> and I got references. So like I've had people who've never seen or been in the BDSM ever. And I've went to a party with a whole bunch of people who just never tried nothing. Mm. Had a whole line for girls in my room mm. who was just trying it mm. when and was hooked. Like, I'm mm. like, yo, I'm not going to hurt you. I mm. promise I'm not going to hurt you. Mm. Everything that I do, you're going to like. Like, I can promise it. Mm. I can promise that you're not going to stay out. And and that's probably why I probably shouldn't have been rubbing on thighs either. But you gotta rub it after you hit it. That's you. I, that's my ministry. Mm -hmm. If I hit you there, I gotta rub you there too. Mm -hmm. So I get consent. And if you want a power cord, by all means, we can we can get into the power cords. I'm sadistic. I am not this. I'm sensual, but I'm I'm sadistic. Like I will go for it. We can draw blood. You, we can we can paint your face with your blood, you know. We can get your partner to lick your face when tears fall out your eyes. Mm. I'm with all those shits. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm I only get the little nails nail for the simple fact that you know the sensation of them on skin is good. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, like that's why I like these coffin shaped nails. I'm gonna get mm -hmm. them. Yeah, let KD, you got. We got to bring you over to the dark side a little bit. You know, like... Man, listen. You don't. <laughs> it, it, Harley. You might want to rephrase that question. Listen. Bring you over to the dark side of hell. Hey, I got a Kevlar, a Kevlar glove that I do Harley. body massages with. Harley. 
<laughs> you can light that joint on fire and do body massages with. Like, listen. What's up? <laughs> listen, <laughs> right there. What's up? How we? What's listen, up? listen. I'm the one that sneaks up on you, and you be like, "Oh shit, what you the know, fuck I did like I get into?" No, no, no. I feel like you snuck up on me in, in, a, oh, dark, in a dark area. Alexander. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, no, KD, listen. <laughs> As Joe said, to, KD is show. the dark side. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to do a different type of show. I'm gonna have to take you to Baltimore one weekend when they got open play to the Playhouse. Who me? Yeah, I had to take you to the take you to a different kind of a different kind of party when Listen. it's open. Like, you can see something. Uh, I'll take him. Listen. Don't take him. <laughs> I'll take him. You know, let's get you to Baltimore. For, you know. Yeah, I am the dark side. That's what Joe said. Yeah, that don't believe that. I, I'm sweet and innocent, so I don't even know what yeah, y'all. I'm, yeah, I used to be a deacon of a very prominent church. I believe it. It's the Church of P U S S Y. That's it. It's the People's United. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. Sexual son of a gun. <laughs> so listen. All right. Um, I think we made the lifestyle a whole lot better tonight. Um, we're going to keep doing that. So we are doing next week the business within the lifestyle. <laughs> yes. We're going there. Maya, you going to comment. <laughs> she didn't think I saw that. That joint is a secret. It's yeah, a secret society. A secret. All they ask is trust. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, but, yeah. Harley Jose, I want your soul. You want to save uh-uh. trust me. Can you find it? it do it exist? <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. But yes, yeah, I uh, had a good time with you ladies tonight. It's a good show. Um, Topanga, I hope you're feeling better um, next week. And, uh, you know, we're definitely going to talk about that. And, um, yeah, the business within the lifestyle. Because there's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of stuff. It's more than just, you know, selling pussy, you know, and all that stuff. So we, we could talk about that. Uh, please tune in. Um, yeah, we're on every week, y'all. You know, we're going to have more interesting topics. We're going to have some uh, interesting guests. And we're going to be traveling around. We're going to be doing stuff. Uh, get on the mm-hmm. page. You know what I'm saying? Make your comments yes. and stuff. You know, click check like, it out. click share. There. Hey, Jenny, how you doing? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be on the page. Um, just uh, check it out. All right. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna check my inbox as I'm sure it was blowing up this whole time. Yes. <laughs> That's funny as hell because I never get a fucking message from y'all. But I'm sure you ladies is, is getting blown up right now. It's cool. Um, Every Wednesday, I'm telling you, it's like clockwork. I, hey, honey, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Mm-hmm. Effect, I'm on my show. Click in. Yeah. Exactly. Now nah, I just want to talk to you. Yeah, okay. I don't like the day right now. Nah, chill. Yeah, yeah. You got to pay your fare. Who is that man, Hoppo? That's it. That's it. So yeah. So that's what's up. I had a good time with y'all. Next week, so just look for stuff. Out here making his forty dollars. Slow. Yeah, he gonna get it too. And slowly but surely, you know, we're getting back. Price in the went up. It's eighty. Mm, 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 mm. Is it fresh? No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fresh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> So fresh yeah. or so clean? No, she's no Gigi talking to talking to, to Joe. Joseph with his forty dollars. But he's selling dick. <laughs> is it fresh? He's selling dick for forty, Poppy. Listen, you can you you come under my wing, okay? You go you. We gonna make sure you get what you got to get because forty dollars is not it, okay? Mm-hmm. That's my fee, but no. <clears throat> That's yeah. gonna be my fee from your cut. The All business, right? That's my cut. the business within the lifestyle business. next week mm-hmm. on BLX. You want to sell some dick, I will help you. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So we out, y'all. We had a good time tonight. We made the lifestyle a little bit better. Please watch the show if you miss some spots. We've been on for almost two hours. So, you know, check it out and please share it with your friends. All right. Thank y'all. We are leaving y'all. Good night, everybody. Good night, y'all.